All right, last um, core concept here, vertex form. Now we have that plus K. So it really doesn't change anything except now we have a vertical shift with our horizontal shift. That plus K moves our graph up or down depending on if K is positive or negative. So now our vertex, we're not going to have H comma zero. We're going to have H comma K. All right, last example here. Um, we got to go ahead and graph. Now we have a little bit of a longer equation here. Um, it really doesn't change anything. We're still going to look for our vertex first. Our vertex, we said, is at the point h comma k. Now remember, we think opposite h there. So if it's a plus 2, we're actually going to say it's a negative 2 comma 3, because 3 is in our k spot there. So what this says is our graph's going to move to the left 2 and up 3. Um, we see it's a negative, so we see it should, re it should reflect, so it should open down. Our axis of symmetry is at the line x equals negative 2. That's our x-coordinate. And let's go ahead and go back to our xy table. Negative 2, 3. That's our first point. That's our vertex. So we'll go left 2, up 3, plot our point. We can go ahead and draw in our axis of symmetry at negative 2 so we know what to reflect over. And two points to the right, so negative 1, 0. If we plug in negative 1, let's write out this whole equation here. Negative 2 times negative 1 plus 2 squared plus 3. Again, order of operations, very, very, very important here. Parentheses first, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. So we have negative 2 times 1 plus 3. Again, order of operations, do multiplication first. So we have negative 2 plus 3, and we're going to get a 1. All right, now plug in 0. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this so we have a little more room. If we plug in 0 to our equation, we have negative 2 times 0 plus 2 squared plus 3. 0 plus 2, parentheses first, is 2. 2 squared is 4. So we're left with negative 2 times 4 plus 3. Well, negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 3 is going to be a negative 5. So if we plot our points, negative 1, comma 1, 0, left to right 0, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if we go ahead and reflect over our axis of symmetry, reflect over our axis, we've got our parabola opening down like we said it should. This plus 2 right here moves it to the left 2. This plus 3 shifts it vertically up 3. And we have our graph. This negative reflects it. The 2 is a vertical stretch because it's bigger than 1. And we have our translated parabola.